Hello everyone, this is Glitter Lantern. Today I will be reviewing the trailer for Sailor Moon Eternal, which will be releasing on Netflix on June 3rd. It already had a theatrical release in Japan, but now it's going to be releasing worldwide on Netflix. This is going to cover the entire dream arc of the manga and Sailor Moon Super S in the 90s anime. The dream arc is also known as the Dead Moon arc and it's really interesting. It's one of the fourth arcs, I think. And it is like the season four of Sailor Moon Crystal. Instead of having a real season four, they just decided to create two movies to cover the dream arc. There are quite a number of songs for the movie. Instead of just having an opening and a closing theme, like we had for the Sailor Moon Crystal episodes, we will be having a couple of songs. Um, some of them are the Moon Color Shannon and also Moon Effect. The list is pretty much endless. In the beginning of the trailer, we see the magical eclipse. For those who read the dream arc or watch the 90s anime, this is where the Dead Moon Circus is going to come, along with Pegasus. Then, find how those magical kaleidoscopes were bought. They were just bought from the Dead Moon Circus, except that they are magical kaleidoscopes. We will also, well, see the character as Pegasus. Like, we also get this prophecy kind of thing, where Pegasus says it, and... We also see clips of of the Queen and Zirconia and the Amazon Trio and the Amazon Quartet. Seem to be these tiny black creatures with spikes kind of things on them, which seem to be there in almost every scene in the trailer. We see Mercury, Mars and Jupiter and even Venus getting taken down by those little black creatures and the Amazon trio as well. For example, we see Fish Eye trying to capture Mercury while and in the end them all, you know, seeing these tiny Sailor Guardian versions of themselves who speak to them and tell them, well, not to do so because yes, yeah, per the trailer there is also this thing that they think that none of their dreams can come true if they continue being sailor guardians which is not exactly true but then they kind of get these thoughts where they think that maybe as sailor guardians their job will be to continue fighting for the rest of their lives leaving a space for them to achieve their dreams the songs as far as i've seen them have a lot of spoilers in them which helps understand the plot a little bit more if the trailer doesn't make any sense. We also see the return of the the other guardians, including Sailor Saturn, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus, and Sailor Pluto. For those who have already seen the 90s anime, it was actually quite clear they would come back. Even at the end of the third season of Sailor Moon, we, you know, get that feeling that they are going to come back. They were simply great characters and they couldn't have just lasted for one season. And the animation has improved from what Sailor Moon Crystal used to be. Like, maybe it was because it had a theatrical release, but the animation all of together just looked nice. The villain's designs have gotten better, for example... The Zidconia's design was really terrifying. For example, she looks a lot like a villain. Since unlike the 90s anime, we won't be having the Monster of the Week format. So we'll be just seeing a couple of monsters out of the Dreams arc and the Sailor Moon Super S. And of course, all the Sailor Guardians get power-ups, such as the Mars Flame Sniper or... Well, in Sailor Moon and, Ch and Chibi Moon's case, we have the Moon Gorgeous Meditation. And also, they are going to be getting the Moon Crisis power-up. And everyone will also be getting the Eternal Forms, which is really nice. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will also be reviewing the Sailor Moon Eternal movies when they come on Netflix on June 3rd. 
Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Bye.